this is the current setup. We're uh, out at the gun range with the $21 PVC gun stand. Um, right, I dialed it in at 50 yards. I think that's really about all this scope is good for. Um, I'm out at 100 now, shooting at my target. Other than that, I got some clay pigeons set up out there. I got 10. We'll see if we can hit all of them. I hit one target uh, three times, so it just kept in holding it and finally cracked in half. Just shot another one and got that one, so I think I'm up to three now at 100 yards, and it's actually, the scope actually is doing fairly well at 100, so we'll keep it going. That should have been a hit. That one tipped over. I don't think it was a hit though. That was a hit. This 22 at 100 yards only puts holes in them though. Doesn't really break them. They play pigeons. That was a good hit. I would say the $21 uh, PVC bench stand is a complete success. This scope was, I uh, could not believe how out of sight it was. Even in the, the Henry video, uh, when I was shooting these steals, I was hitting them, but I don't think I was hitting where I was actually aiming. Um, because now that I got it out here, I got it dialed in at 50, I, I brought it out to 100. I'm actually hitting stuff fairly well. I aim a little higher, but not much. Um, other than that, this the $21 the PVC gun stand, I would say, for lower caliber rifles is a absolute complete success. Uh, sorry about all the background noise, I'm at the local gun range. Uh, here's our clay pigeons. Uh, you can see, like I said, there's some holes in some of them. Some of them did break, uh, but most of the time it just puts holes in them. Like uh, It was either this one or this one. I had to shoot three or four times just to get it to break. So we'll throw those off to the side. All right, cool. We'll leave that one, see if I can hit it again. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. New targets taped up. And now the wonderful 100 yard walk back. All right, 100 yards, fully loaded, brand new target out there. So it looks like we're pretty far right, so we're going to adjust our left a little. And we're a little high, but I'm going to leave it there. Still pretty far to the right. There we go, nice and center now. We're a little high, so we're gonna go down. Just dropped it a full inch. Let me try that one again. It's pretty low, huh? We're gonna go a little more to the right. Now we'll leave the elevation the same. Nice, she's getting better. Grouping's starting to look tighter, but still not where I'd like it. I'm still gonna go a little bit more to the right. That was a full inch adjustment, so we're making quite a bit of adjustment there. 
There we go, looking good. And I just realized I was saying the wrong direction to you guys. I was adjusting it correctly, but I was saying the wrong direction. We were hitting on the right, I was adjusting it to the left. Um, the grouping, I would say, on that, those shots, I'll show you guys real quick. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on the camera very well. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's the grouping, I'll show you a better picture in just a second. I'm gonna call it on the video. So that was the uh, $21 DIY PVC bench stand or shooting stand, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, help you get your new scope that you put on there or maybe just help you get it dialed in a lot better. So for small caliber rifles, I would say it's an absolute complete success. So if you like this video and the $21 PVC bench stand, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions on how I built it um, or anything that I might have missed, please leave it in the comment section below and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.